What did Sam do to them? Well, many cyborg soldiers' emotions are regulated by nanomachine-controlled drag doses and electric stimuli. It sustains the subject's confidence while suppressing fear, anxiety, any emotions detrimental to mission performance, really. I suspect that Desperado also uses it to boost the aggressiveness of their employees. Once, SOP nanomachines were used to control all PMC contractors, not just cyborgs in this way. These days, you can control cyborgs with far more accuracy than ever before. You are connecting directly to their central nervous and control systems, after all. I know all of that, but how could I hear it? Emotions can be suppressed in part purely by chemical interaction. This is done by administering dopamine using beta blockers, cutting off the reabsorption of serotonin. However, emotions are one way in which the brain reacts to the impulses sent from the nervous system. These impulses come in many forms. For example, external information from visual and oral sensors, or input from the somatosensory system and from one's own consciousness. The changes in intraneural balance, the innovation potential, and consciousness that result, these things are what we generally refer to as emotion. In recent years, it has become possible to even alter one's consciousness via the right electrical stimuli. However, retaining full balance with this method still proves difficult. The latest research I've seen has been most enlightening. A suppressed set of emotions creates a closed feedback loop within the subject's consciousness. The cut-off consciousness generates its own emotion on some level, based on outside stimuli. But there is no way to actually output this emotion. The cut-off consciousness? Well, in an intense combat situation, have you ever felt as if what you are experiencing wasn't real? That you are viewing your own actions from some external vantage point? Yeah, that does happen sometimes. Most likely, the sensation is rather close to that. The consciousness is inherently separate from the decision-making parts of the brain. Experiments using functional MRI imaging have revealed much about the decision-making process. For example, did you know that the brain has already come to a conclusion seven seconds before the decision is consciously made? In any case, while attending the Tucson conference, I heard about the most fascinating experiment. Output from the consciousness was separated from that produced by the decision-making brain. If I had to guess, World Marshal has taken such research and put it into full practical use. That's... that's crazy. What could it possibly be good for? Well, judging by your current state, I'd say it has proven to be quite a useful psychological weapon. Oh. Scientists do not engage in pure research because they think it will necessarily prove useful in the future. They are curious. They want to know more, whether about the brain or elemental particles or any other thing. Locating funding for pure science projects is challenging, no doubt. But the results can form the core of future, more practical technologies. Consider the direct links between the theory of relativity and nuclear weapons, for example. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Ryden, no. are you okay? Oh, Sam sure plays dirty. No, he's right. The cyborgs who signed on with Desperado and World Marshal, most of them had no other choice. No one put a gun to their heads, but they were screwed to begin with. Their contracts worked completely against them. Still... I knew all that, but hearing those voices, it hit me hard. I guess I was just kidding myself the whole time. Still, there's nothing you could have done for them. But those children... I'll get them back. Ryden, I... I just wish I could do more from here. That's all right, Courtney. Sometimes just having someone to talk to is good enough. I'm happy to help. I should probably save your data. No. Okay, check back if you change your mind. Yeah, riding out. Riding? You okay? Yeah, they knew what they signed up for. Maybe life backed them into a corner, but they knew the risks. Exactly. A contractor's always balancing those risks against the money he's making. Those cops are no different. That. And they're actively helping Sundowner and Armstrong with all their shit. Having a bit of regret doesn't make killing kids okay. Yeah, they had to know they were working for the bad guys. Even if they didn't, it doesn't absolve them of all their crimes. Yeah, I know, Kev, but... Ryden? I... I don't have time to think about this right now. I need to get back to the mission. Roger that. 
Raiden, Raiden, come in. What is wrong? You knew those cyborgs signed up for this. What's the problem with it now? Don't you get it, Boris? I thought you of all people might understand. I thought you knew what it means to take a life, the weight of it. Not an easy thing to put into words. What about when the Soviets invaded Afghanistan? You killed dozens of guerrillas. Duh, because Comrade Brezhnev told me to. Men don't like killing their own kin. Even animals are the same way. But when you really believe in someone or something, sometimes it is the only way. <sighs> Your cause is just right, and you must remember. I'm trying, but Christ. You're right. We've got to free those brains. Yes, stay strong, Raiden. You are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon of the Winds of Destruction. Okay. Yeah, I guessed as much. Sides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. 
kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Pen taught me that. Yes, you are the only one to grow up on the killing fields. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. It's controlled by something only that means. The DNA of the soul. They shape our world. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. They expose someone to anger long enough, they learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair, loneliness. Sent out to master? How about full of shit? Is that a mean? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off after the Patriots. I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! Mm. The bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. Y you But you, all this, is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. My pain inhibitors. What? This, this is madness. You do it. All right. Pain. This is why I fight.
Report back to the chief. He's mine. <laughs> You're the boss. I misjudged you. You are like us after all. Now you're just being nasty. <laughs> that nickname you love so much. Want to know how I got it? Actually, why don't I give you a demonstration? I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. 